Hello and welcome to Floyd Models Kit View Time. Today we've got KP's latest kit. This is the 172nd Alpha Jet A. And obviously this is in the Luftwaffe markings, looking quite nice. So as I say, I haven't done a, a KP um, review for absolute, well, ages. So it's really nice to see a new tool 2021 kit from them as well. So as you can see, we've got the gorgeous uh, Luftwaffe markings down in there. And then on the back, you can see some of the options we've got down in here, all the three, the color call outs, all the rest of it, all done on the box as we can see. And then the rest of it, to be honest, there isn't much in the way on here, but your uh, number for this one is KPM0266. And there we go. So let's have a look in the box. As I say, I haven't seen anything out of KP for a long, long time. Usual thing, just the one uh, box. One little bag, as I say, looking very nicely packaged. And then down in the back here, and get this all out in one pulp. That'll be good. He says, not being able to do it. Hold on. Special sheet moving through. Oh man, something stuck in here. We've got uh, screw bags. Being a little bit caught. Come on, here we go. Yeah, there we go. And the parts. And at last. So basically, we've got the decals looking pretty good. We've got two screws of your normal styrene, and we've got clear sprue molded in one. So down here on your instructions, you can see pretty straightforward, usual sort of KP way of doing it. So we've got a little bit about the history. We've got the A version and the E uh, between the two ones down in here. We've got some color call outs down the bottom, pretty normal. And then obviously we've got your sprue layout and then straight forward into it. So it's looking like instrument panels, depending if you're doing the E version or the A version of the Alpha Jet. So it's pointing those out down in here, straight forward. We've got the tub, usual thing, the seats going onto this one and it looks like we've got decal for harnesses, which is quite a nice touch. Control sticks down in there, side consoles, rear console, things like that with it being fitted. Then it jumps straight in there. So we need to move that one out of the way. So we are straight into four, two halves coming together. And then obviously you can see you've got it in the red there for the glue marks popping all of those ones into this one. Wheel wells as well. So obviously getting the main gear sorted and into those as well, talking about locking them in place before you all fit it down in there. It would just make it a little bit easier if painting isn't quite as easy this way. Belly plate being fitted underneath. And then obviously we've got the antennas up at the top, which I do believe are like the IS, ILS antennas. And then it's talking about down in here with the actual color sections, again, gluing. So we've got lower and upper half of the wings together. But in those in there, it doesn't look like there's any slots. So we'll have to check that to make sure we do have slots. Intakes being fitted, tailplanes being fitted onto there as well. And then obviously we've got the on the A version. Uh, and then obviously with the more pointy nose and then the rear instrument panel combing down in there. And then obviously down in here, we've got the E model with a rounded nose or the MS version with that chiseled nose front on it as well. So depending on which one you're doing on there. Then it's down into the middle. So obviously we've got the gun plates down under here for the central ones. We've got fuel tanks on the outside and we've got a couple of pylons, which is a nice touch giving you exactly what you want. And then the final one is a one piece canopy going down onto the top of this so there's no option to have it open unless you want to take a razor saw to it and we've got some more antennas being put on depending again obviously if it's the French version or if it's the Canadian version down in there just like that so pretty straightforward into the parts themselves so as we can see there's not a uh, a great deal to these there's a little bit of flash it's you know to be honest it's typical kp when you look at this as in that sometimes the uh you know the actual recess panel lining can be a little bit rough shall we say and sometimes it's worth just popping a blade down in there rescribing tool just to freshen up some of those lines generally though the detail looks pretty good you can probably see it up there on the top we have got a little bit of flash running around it uh, but that's pretty standard uh, on those this wing section as you see it here when you flip over this is what we talking about you probably gonna have to play with this little ejector pin a little bit then we've got the lower part and again it's a little bit rough and ready under here but again a couple of swipes of the sanding stick around on this guy then it will obviously really fit in here nicely sharpen up all those details and away you go so that's quite nice so that's those then we've got the pylons down in here we've got the wheels again all a little bit flashy uh, we've got the fuel tanks we've got that central uh, pod as well being fitted down in there and most importantly we've got the fuselage hearts which again it's all recessed details on these 
we've got the little bit of the actual hatches with the little bits and pieces, bolts, edges, things like that. We've got raised details down in here with these speed brakes, so they're slightly raised as well. So again, I think it's one of those, it looks quite organic, but you just need to come in this, clean all this up. So once you've got it off the sprue, popping it around here, just sharpen everything up again with a sanding stick, just to make it a little bit more crisp. Perhaps open up this slot as well. You can see it's a little bit filled in as well. So it just needs a little bit of freshening up, but generally, nothing that can't be taken care of. If you do it before you get the parts glued together, it will put you on the right foot as you're moving forward. Second sprue, which you can see down in here, we've got that other fuselage half, which actually looks okay. Then we've got the seats, which again, don't look too bad at all. Wing system, again, exactly the same as the other one. And then down on here, we've got that central belly plate being fitted into there just like that. And then obviously the doors are all closed as it would be in the neutral uh, positions with the actual gear up. But we have got some nice touches. We've got a little bit of floor detail down on here. We've got the gear sections and all the parts that make it up to them. And again, just feeling the parts generally, they feel a little bit rough, but a couple of swipes, honestly, with a, a medium or a, obviously a fine sander uh, on a sponge, just to sort of sharpen it up and everything, I think you'll be absolutely fine. So yeah, a little bit of crispy, a little bit of sort of organic on this one, but nothing that can't be cleaned up quite easily. And again, you've got the different nose sections down in here. We've got the pointy nose, we've got the chiseled nose, uh, and obviously the rounded one as well. So yeah pretty nice indeed. The clear parts, as you can see, actually aren't too bad at all. It's, you know, not the crystal clear ones perhaps you might be getting accustomed to with certain manufacturers, but again, it is one piece, so it's quite complex to get the curves all in there, and it's quite thick. So again, this is one of those ones that might do with a little bit of dipping, just to make it a little bit more crystal clear, but generally very nice. It's got a good hard edge to the panel detail, so masking should be quite straightforward on those just like that. Last up, we've got the decals. <coughs> Actually, pretty nice. You probably see, very nicely done. Minimal sort of carrier film on those. It looks to be incredibly thin, and you can see this is all in one piece. So again, chip mate deckling quite straightforward on those. And again, nice little touches. We've actually got the instrument panels, but we've got the seats various. You could transfer that onto a bit of foil like I often do. That would work very well. So plenty of decals in there to make it all stand out and be very nice indeed. To be honest, I'm not unimpressed with it. KP have always been that sort of very much an organic, almost not like a limited run type kit, but that's been like it with their 48 scale stuff since day one. Interesting subjects, beautiful markings, as you can see down in here. Some very, very nice stuff with these ones, with the different ones from 1984, 1983, and we've got 1997 as well with the different ones in there. So there's some nice sort of Luftwaffe options, obviously the more sort of splinter-esque camo, and obviously the more sort of cur you know curvy one as well. So again, nice job on this one. And again, I think it's one of those, get all your parts off the sprue, clean them all up, get yourself all squared away with that, and then the build itself should be very, very straightforward. This actually is Nathan's kit on the site. So Nathan's one of the team. He's going to put this together as well. So we'll catch up with him a little bit later on to find out how he gets on with the build. Thank you. 